Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Monday, April 1st, April Fool's Day, at around 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. The sun at Solar Max is completely blank, looking more like Solar Minimum. And good news, we just passed the 88,000 subscriber threshold. Thanks to all of our new subscribers. We love each and every one of you. Keep calm. It's boom time. April nor'easter to unload feet of snow in northern New England and New York. A strengthening April storm with staying power will deliver days of snow, rain, and strong winds to the northeast with significant travel disruptions and widespread power outages likely this week. The full forecast coming up in a moment. But the immediate threat is severe thunderstorms, and they are threatening the central and eastern U.S. with floods, hail, and tornadoes over the next few days. Severe storms bring increased risk of destructive hail and tornadoes to Oklahoma, and large hail, strong winds possible on Monday night in Dallas, with severe weather possible in western Arkansas tonight as well. Central Ohio is under a flood watch until Tuesday night. Expect rain, hail, and wind. And let's take a look at the hail report from yesterday, Sunday, March 31st. Take a look at this. 83,000 reports of one to one and a half inch hail, 5,000 plus reports of hail up to 2.25 inches. The big winner, impact rating three, Peoria, Illinois. If you live there, send us some of your photos or some of your experience. Part of a famed California highway crumbles into the ocean. Have you seen this? Holy macaroni. A landslide destroyed part of Highway 1 south of Rocky Creek Bridge on the Big Sur coast. I believe that has been repaired or they're just using one lane. Heavy snow season continues in Southern California, even though it's April. Southern Cali. Holy macaroni. Is that even a word? Let's take a look at some of this. Wowie. All right, of course, we just froze up. But look at that snow Traveling there. there, but those who made it were able to enjoy the fresh powder. Two feet fell in Big Bear while Crestline received eight inches and Wrightwood reported another foot of snow. That's where KTLA 5 is from. Yeah, so on Sunday night, four inches fell, bringing the three-day total to the resort between 18 and 24 inches. And those are not cinches, especially down in Southern Cali. Take a look. It's just right outside L.A. Two feet of snow in multiple locations. Two feet or more also in southern Utah and in a large swath of Wyoming as well over the last 48 hours. And all this snow is going to be moving to the east like a beast. Widespread hazardous weather this week. And here is the full forecast. A strengthening storm system will track from the southern plains to New England this weekend with widespread hazardous weather, including severe thunderstorms and excessive rainfall possible from the plains to the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys. Dry, gusty winds bring critical fire weather to the southern high plains, areas of pink especially and brown down there. Heavy snow and high winds possible over the higher elevations of New England later this week, starting tonight in the Catskill region and expanding through the entire Northeast. Here are flood watches and warnings all across the center of the U.S. Heed the warnings in your county. Click on your county for more information over at weather.gov. Let's take a look at the GFS model and the snowfall as it moves. You can see the snow moving through Maine in the next three, six, eight hours. And then that system moving through the center of the U.S. is going to start to bomb out here on Tuesday and Wednesday. There's that growing snow in the Northeast. A huge pocket of snow in Wisconsin. Say it ain't cheese. No, it's snow, Holzer. Let's walk this through Wednesday, Thursday. Boom! Look at that snow on the ground. Could be approaching three feet of snow in New Hampshire, Vermont, and up in the Adirondacks. So that is good news for the ski resorts in the Northeast. They're going to be open until summer. Certainly not a bummer. And the snow continues to move through the West here by the second week of April here, April 6th, 7th. Take a look at that. Heavy snow for all the high elevation in the Rockies. More snow for the Sierras. And after mid-April, a huge blizzard moving across Canada. Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. 
Al says it doesn't snow in April. Al Gore won the Nobel Prize and is a liar. Should we take that off? Take that back from him? Seismic update. Interesting quakes of note here down in the Pacific Rise, 5.3 with some aftershocks. That could mean that some of this pressure is going to now be released in the Costa Rica region. There was a peer-reviewed paper we shared a few years ago uh, that suggested there was going to be an uptick in Costa Rica from pressure and some new activity along this subduction zone. So cross your fingers if you're in Costa Rica that the big one is not coming. Worldwide normal activity. We do have some uptick here off the coast in Cascadia with a 3.1 off the coast of Oregon. And that was following another 3.1. So multiple 3.1s, some activity here in the Aleutians near Alaska, and a big boomer in Japan at 5.9, but quite deep which is good news for those uh, structures on the surface. Worldwide Volcano News for April 1st, April Fool's Day. Who, no one's a fool that watches this channel, by the way. Reventador Volcano in Ecuador. Volcanian activity continues here to 700 meters. Sun gay, some volcanic ash today. Fernandina Volcano in the Galapagos Islands. Lava flow is persisting in advancing towards the ocean. There we can see the extent. Fuego to 15,000 feet. Barren Island to 6,000 today. Fuego to 13,000. Sabancaya to 26,000 feet, Santa Guito to 13,000 feet, Popo to 19,000, holy macaroni, Semaru, volcanic ash advisory to 14,000 feet. Who knew? Now you do. Marapi also puffing and passing today with Ebeco to 15,000 feet, quite significant. And I, did I see another one? No, Barren Island volcano continues volcanic ash to just about 3,000 feet. Nothing spectacular there. What is spectacular is the lack of sunspots on the sun at solar max cycle 25. So all those people that said, ah, we're not in the grand solar minimum, you know that. Yeah, you know what you can do. Uh, what we do have is some coronal holes and some coronal hole activity coming to push us up maybe into G1 geomagnetic storm over the next few days. Other than that, all we have is this one impulsive flare in the last 24 hours. Nothing spectacular, just an M3.9. A quick look at the WSA Enlil spiral shows that coronal hole stream coming in just a few days and should be persistent for the second, third, maybe even to the fourth here as we have some enhanced coronal hole streams hitting Earth. And those are co-rotating regions, by the way. The Korean artificial sun that was going to destroy the planet, according to many conspiracy theorists, has in fact not, but the reactor has set a record at 100 million degrees. That is seven times as hot as the sun's core, which means nothing because the corona is, uh, well, it's pretty hot. Do you know the real story behind April Fool's Day? I bet you didn't. In 1582, Pope Gregory the 13th adopted a new Gregorian calendar, which moved our year from April 1st to January 1st. This was widely advertised, but still some people missed it and kept celebrating the new year on the 1st of April. They were seen as fools and hence April Fool's Day. And if you believe that, I've got some land to sell you in the Everglades. High energy sun goddess particle from nowhere collides into Earth. This isn't the first of these cosmic ray particles of such extreme magnitude that we have detected. Researchers have discovered plenty of high energy cosmic rays over the last several decades. But scientists have detected one of the most powerful cosmic rays ever slamming into Earth, but they have no idea what caused it or where it came from because when they trace the trajectory back to its origin, it's in the middle of nowhere, in a void. Yes. The high energy par particle has been named Amaratsu, and I, we've covered this before, but this has been brought up to my attention because of a new video out that's kind of cool. So go check out our Rumble channel and the video, Earth has been struck by the goddess particle. It seems to have come from nowhere. Now they do talk about modern cosmology and big bangs and black holes in this, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We are here to learn about these high energy cosmic rays that are being detected coming in and hitting Earth and well causing mutations in any of the biological entities that they interact with. Because a cascade happens once the cosmic ray enters, it breaks apart and a cascade effect happens which actually nucleates clouds. 
Chemtrails much? And once again, I need to thank each and every one of our new subscribers. This was under 88,000 before we left for the show and a huge bump up in activity. Here you can see on the graph since we were at the show. So these must have been people interacting with us at the table. And thanks to Alien Allen, he gave out hundreds of stickers so the people knew who we were when they got home. They must have Googled us and subscribed. We're trying to get to that enigma of 100,000 subscribers. The only problem is we are shadow banned. If you look at our lifetime in the last decade, we quickly rose rapidly from no subs uh, 2,000 subscribers to 40,000 subscribers in one year. And then they banned us. And then they tr the subscribership trickled in. We went from 40,000 to 70,000 over a period of two years. And then they put the kibosh on and you can see what happens there. It flattens out. Our videos are not shared. And in the last year or so, we've gone completely flat. That is due to censorship. Our content, we've had the same format. We've been doing the same thing for 10 years. Nothing has changed except the algorithm, which they're using to prevent our information from getting out there. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned, like we just showed you. All the links to everything we discuss will be below the video. We love you. Be safe. More snow is coming. And no one except Al Gore is bumming. <laughs>